Hello Aquarius. Welcome to another love reading. This is a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. And let's just get right into the reading. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Aquarius regarding love. As always, Aquarius, this is a general love reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius that's watching. So um, please take what applies to you. Leave the rest. Check out my playlist for Aquarius if you want to see more videos for your sign. So let's start with figuring out what's going on in your connection at this time. Great. Tell me about the connection between Aquarius and their person at this time. What do we need to know, Spirit? Okay, we have the Two of Swords. What's going on between Aquarius and their person? And the Six of Cups. So there's indecision here about something to do with a soulmate, a past person, or a past situation. Maybe you're guarded against the past. Let's see. You or your person. What's this Two of Swords about? Why is the Two of Swords here? Seven of Wands. Okay. So definitely like a defensive energy. Guarded energy here. Ten of Cups. Yeah, get one more for the Two of Swords. And the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Pentacles. So more guarded energy. Now, I don't know why you or this person, because this is what's going on in your connection. So both of your energies are here. I don't know why you feel that you need to be so protective over yourself, your heart, guarded um this is you know very resistant energy it could be that you are resisting um commitment or you're resisting this person because they're already in a commitment let me know which one of those applies to you in the comments and tell me about the six of cups why is the six of cups here page of cups why is the Six of Cups here? This could be a past person coming in. Six of Swords to offer an apology for a departure or coming to visit you to make you an offer, express their feelings towards you here. Four of Swords. And then what's this? We have the Emperor. Aries Energy. Why the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here? Three of Wands. Interesting. There might have been um, a lack of communication between you and this person. Like not a lot of communicating. Not, not a lot of talking or action from this person. Maybe they were waiting for the right time to approach you. What's with this Emperor? death Scorpio energy so this emperor has made a change in their life or wants to change something with you in this connection two of Pentacles yeah they there's a tower they've gone through some big change this emperor a tower moment um, And now they're ready for something new. I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. I feel like this is someone that's coming back or they're coming to you after some sort of big change in their life. Maybe you're discussing things together, but you're very guarded for whatever reason. Um, or, you know, there's a guarded energy between both of you. Like... Maybe you don't know if you can trust each other or be very open with each other. We'll see. Now let's start with you, Aquarius. What's going on with you? 
Spirit tell me about Aquarius. Actually, let's look at some energy oracles. This is my Stellar Energy Oracle. The link to this is at the uh, in the description box. <laughs> All right, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Burdened heart, obligations, burdens, difficulty. Tell me about this person that Aquarius is dealing with. Moving forward, yeah, they're they're moving on from whatever it is that they're moving on. I don't know what they're leaving behind, but they're going through a transition, this person that you're dealing with. Now, Aquarius, I have you on this side, I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spare, give me some insight into Aquarius. Privileged lady. So you're doing very well for yourself. Secure. Confident. Stable. Tell me about this. Or it could be the, how this person's seeing you. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Thief. Jesus. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Let me read that real quick. I just love how it's so like in your face. This is a very challenging and negative card. It means theft, embezzlement, and loss, either material or emotional. It stands for what's been taken away, removed, separated, distant, or absent. It indicates a loss, missing out on something, Sometimes can represent dishonesty of thought and approach rather than a physical act. It represents loss or theft of any kind, be it money, goods, love, or friendship. Interesting. So this person could be feeling like they've lost you. Maybe they've lost money as well by moving forward here. Tell me more about this thief card. Can you get some more insight into the thief? Great fortune. Oh, okay. Well, let me look at that. All the significators' wishes are coming true. Unexpected good luck is on the way. So I feel like this person has left a difficult situation or is thinking of regaining what they've lost. And I feel like that's having something to do with you for whatever reason i don't know why they lost you or why they feel they've lost something but in the you know from what i'm seeing here it's almost like they are, they're getting it back or that's their wish their hope okay tell me about aquarius let's see i am going to be using two one deck for you one deck for them as well so tell me about aquarius we have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Big offer here. Why the Three of Cups? Big opportunity here. Two of Swords again. So it could be that if this is a reunion, you're not sure about it. You're undecided. Death. Scorpio energy. There's death again. Maybe something, maybe this requires a change for you or this is after an ending. Wow, the four of wands. Yeah, someone definitely wants stability, happiness with you, I feel. Eight of swords. There's fear. I feel like there's fear because of whatever has happened already between you and this person. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Oops. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Swords. So this is someone that's talking to you about this offer. Um, about coming together, meeting up, 
whatever this three of cups means um because it could mean both of those things and i feel like you're unsure about this you are fearful about this for whatever reason you know and i have a feeling it has to do with the past yeah six of cups okay so that's where you stand i feel so let's look at your person oh, what deck do i want to use spirit tell me about this person that aquarius is dealing with what do we need to know about this person six of wands okay okay we have the emperor aries energy again this person is really focused on victory success what's the six of wands about wow ten of pentacles yeah the ultimate success the ultimate um stability two of swords <laughs> Again, three different decks, and we got the two of swords in it every time. Okay, yeah, I feel like this person is going to offer you a cup of love, um, an opportunity for something new, um, and I feel like you're not going to know what to do about that. And I think this person knows it too. Yeah, the empress, the emperor, the empress are here. So this person thinks that you are their divine counterpart. We have the Leap uh, Justice card and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the decks here. What's with this Emperor? I feel like this Emperor is meaning serious business here. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. This is the person making you an offer, Aquarius. Why can I keep my deck, my cards in my deck? Hang on, guys. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, tell me about this emperor. Can you tell me about this emperor? Judgment, yep. Yep, ten of cups, wow. This person wants it all. A second chance. Um, let me just grab a random deck card here from the deck. Yeah, they're going to come in fast, I feel. This is going to be quick communication because I have the Eight of Wands on their side and Knight of Swords on yours. It could be like a text or something like that. Um, a message, a DM. I feel like this person is going to open the lines of communication here with judgment. And with the Ten of Cups, Ten of uh, Pentacles here, they don't just want any little thing with you. Um, they want to have a beginning and end up in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Yeah, okay? So we have the Ace of, Pen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. So, you know, they don't just want to start something. They want to also finish it. <laughs> you know, like get to this level with you. So this is someone that's very motivated, um, very determined, this person. The emperor is definitely a doer. Um, so let's see, where is all of this headed? Spirit, where is all of this headed in the near future? Where is all of this headed in the near future between Aquarius and this person? Okay, we have the Page of Wands. Where is all of this headed? For Aquarius and this other person. Okay, we have the Moon, Pisces energy. Definitely communication coming in here with the Page of Wands. We also have, oh wow, the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely a new beginning here, but there's also doubt and confusion. 
And I feel like that might be on your end. Um, or maybe this person's doubting whether you will say yes, you will accept. Um, thank you so much for watching this reading. I hope it resonated for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you did. It helps show this video to more people. Um, and it just helps us grow and it's a free way of you for you to support the channel if you enjoy my readings. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who already does that and anybody who takes time to leave me um, a kind comment. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, your support and your kind words. Um, it does not go unnoticed. So thank you to everyone that does that. And yeah, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.